So you have worked in hotels, restaurants, uh, cruise ships as well, did, or did I make that up? No, 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 that's, uh, that's absolutely something we've done. Yeah. So wh when, I, when I left college, so I've always had a love of the sea, so I've sailed yeah. since I was 11, mm -hmm. and uh, as I love it. Um, yeah. so, so one of the first things, when I was at college, I, I wanted to work on a luxury yacht. Uh -huh. that, that was my, my dream goal. Yeah. So what I did, as when I left college, to get the experience cooking at sea, I actually worked on a sailing ship. Okay. And we joined the sailing ship up by the North Pole. It's a place called Svalbard. So it's yeah. you've got the north of Norway. You've got, you've got north of Norway, you've got the North Pole, and there's a group of islands here yeah, called yeah, Svalbard. Yeah. Mm. So we were up there and we saw sort of uh, polar bears and whales, all sorts of different wildlife. Nice. The scenery is incredible up there. Mm. Uh, and then we sailed from there right down to Rotterdam. Oh, right. Took a bit of time off and then it jumped on again and we sailed from Rotterdam down to the Cap Verde Islands. Oh, so we right. sailed from the North Pole to the equator, yeah, now, yeah, which is incredible. Then uh, I've also worked on a cruise ship, like you said, uh, that was a Fred Olsen a cruise ship that we worked on. I see. We joined in Southampton, yeah, uh, went down to Madeira, the Canary Islands, across to uh, Morocco, mm -hmm. back to the Canaries, across to the Caribbean, and so did some. Island hopping there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, that, that was that was great. It was a new place each day, and mm. the guys we were working with were just incredible. Sure, was amazing. And uh, I eventually got to work on my luxury yacht. Oh, and, uh, brilliant! And, uh, and that was just that was a completely mind blowing experience. And there's, there was no budget, no food mm. budget, so we got the the best of everything. Yeah, and we used to buy in sort of whole wagyu fillets at sort of twenty at a time. Uh, and they are, they're, they're not cheap. No, uh, no, no, by no means. And uh, I've got so many stories from from that time. Yeah, I, c I can so, imagine. That's, uh, wow. The uh, money was just incredible. Mm, is, I can, I'm sure I can imagine. Is there anywhere you haven't worked? Obviously, the, the private uh, capacity, as you say, affords you a lot of freedom with your time and, yeah. and whatnot. Oh, well, it depends how busy we are. But yes, yes, but... but yeah. Compared to whether you, compared to if you're working in a professional uh, kitchen, yes, absolutely. Um, but is there anywhere that you haven't worked that you, if you were given the opportunity, you might? Yeah, I, I think Ooh. I'll, I think I'll take that. That's that's a fantastic question. I think uh, so. Yes, there is. There's a couple of places. Uh, I, I'd love to, to. I'd love to go and go and to be in Australia as well, just to, to travel around to see the, the place. Yeah. Um so pick up some, some ideas from, from down there. Sure. So I haven't been south of the equator before, so that's that, that's sort of high uh, high up there. Yeah. But top of my bucket list uh, is to go and work in uh, uh, go and uh, so join a ship and then sail from the southern tip of South South Afri South America, sorry. Yeah. Uh, there's a place called Ushuaia. And then you sail from there through the Southern Oceans, which I've always wanted to do, uh -huh. uh, through the through sailing, and then, then go down to Antarctica, sort of, sort of experience life down there. Wow. That, that is top of my bucket list. And uh, now now I've, I've been up to the North Pole, now I yeah. want to go, go down to as the South Pole. As far as South goes, wow. That is brilliant. Okay. With that in mind, though, I mean, what would you say the next steps are for, for Solco? Mm. Uh, so, so I'm, I'm very, very happy with what we're doing now. Yeah. So at the moment, I don't have any sort of immediate plans to open any any restaurant or, or anything okay. like that. Um, so what what we found is that I, I think there is more of a trend going towards the sort of in-house dining. Mm -hmm. So we we sort of, like we said we're bringing the restaurant to to, to people. Home. Yeah. And uh, and uh, that uh, from our side, it is so much fun. Like, mm. We love it, and, and so we, um, so Nico, my sous chef, we and um, myself, we we ran a, a local restaurant here for a week when the head chef was off. Okay, and that that was that was that was a lot of fun as well, but mm. uh, n not on the same level as um, as as doing a dinner party. That's because uh, it's in people's homes; they're more relaxed, and there's uh, closest people around them. And, sure, uh, and it, it's 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 incredible. So it's the. Uh, some people are to get really dressed up for it. They're wearing sort of dinner jackets and sort of hmm. so lovely dresses and what have you. And yeah. Then, then it goes to the other side. Some have done a few dinner parties where people are sat there in pajamas. 
Uh, and then we we did a we did a dinner party recently, and um, the, this is a first. And what what happened was that the host had sent out the so an invitation to everybody, mm. um, and they said, "Come in wearing what you will, like as long as you're comfortable." And so everybody that was there sort of dressed up really nicely. Yeah. And then uh, so I met my sous chef outside, and uh, he said. I don't know if I've got the right house, but somebody's walked in in a Scooby Doo onesie, and uh, <laughs> and uh, so <laughs> hmm, okay, uh, so is it, well, let's go and see if that's the right house. So we walked in, and the, the host opened the door, and the first person we see, other than the host, was uh, a guy there in a Scooby Doo onesie, and uh, that's so we go, it, it's we, we love it. Yeah. It's, it's, it, you must meet an, a, a wide variety of, of characters. Very, you? very much so. And uh, it's, it's it's different people each time. And like I said, we do bespoke menus, so it's what people want. Yeah. Know? And there's, like we, we post on Facebook a lot of the different menus that we have done. Sure. But it's it's what people, if, if you like steak, then we'll do steak. If you like duck, we'll do you duck. If you mm. like chicken, we'll do chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it's... So it's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah. Hmm. And aside from your from your travelling aspirations, because yeah. I can tell that that's you know that's still a big love of yours. Yeah. Uh, with the sailing uh, elements to it, um, and as you say, there's no immediate plans to open a restaurant. Do you think that in the further future, though, uh, you wouldn't say no, or maybe a chocolaterie? Yeah, so potentially in the future, opening it, uh, a little chocolate shop would be fantastic. Then mm -hmm. we can open up in the evenings and do dinners, for example. Yeah. And uh, that's sort of sort of in the back of my mind, but that's something sort of for for the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So because we we love what we do now, and uh, we love we love we just love it really. It's, mm. it's, there's there's no, no real no real push for us to open a, a restaurant. Okay. Well. No, it, it doesn't sound like, I mean, it sounds, as you say, it going pretty well w doing Absolutely. what you're doing. Um, one, one final thing, um, again, in the sort of the realms of the further future, obviously you've, you've seen a lot of the world and you've got quite a lot of stories and your knowledge of food, therefore, is going to be quite diverse. Do you think you would ever consider putting that into a book or books or maybe a different medium? Because... Um. At, at the moment, my, my thoughts uh, about the, the cookery book is uh, that there are so many cookbooks out there now. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's finding the market. That, that, that is, I think it's too saturated. That, okay. that's, that's what I think at the moment. Um, I think there's so many, so many different... What, what, I, I mean, what we do is, is, is the experience. And I don't really think you can convey... A, the, the experience you get from a dinner party in, in a book as okay. such. Yeah, I think it comes from that actual being there and, and doing it. Yeah. Um, so in, in general, I'm, I'm not in, in any rush to make a cookbook or, or mm. anything anything similar. Yeah, okay. But, uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're not against people using the recipes that we, we do. And mm. so we, we bake bread for the dinner parties that we do, so we have to get asked for the recipe of that, so we, we leave that. Yeah. Um, we won't give the recipe out for the nine texture chocolate cake, though. No, 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 no. That's there. No. That's there. Uh, that's thing uh, that's left to the depths of the imagination and uh, let the experts do what they can. Yeah. Christian, thank you ever so much. It's been fantastic yeah, talking to absolutely. you. Absolutely, most welcome. It's been a lot of fun. Thank so, you. Thank you very much.